वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल पावर पॉइंट यूनिवर्सिटी इन दिस टूटोरियल आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू वेरी यूजफुल स्लाइड विच इज द रोटेटिंग मॉफ ट्रांजिशन एंड दिस विल बी वेरी यूजफुल वेन यू आर मेकिंग योर प्रेजेंटेशन यू कैन शो इट फॉर द ऑप्शन और फॉर डिफरेंट पर्पसेस सो लेट सी हाउ द स्लाइड लुक्स वन आई क्लिक it will move the first option will come and your text will appear here with the title and when i click the text goes out then the second option comes down with the second title then the third title the fourth the fifth title and the sixth title likewise i have created with four options also this is the first option then the second option the third option and the fourth option and one more slide i have added without any animation you can use this if you don't want any animation and for this to make the morph transition at least you need to have either powerpoint 2018 or office uh, 365 version otherwise the older version like 2007 or 2010 or 13 the morph transition does not exist So let's see how to create this presentation or this slide in PowerPoint. Add a new slide and I've changed the background to the gradient. Then go to insert shapes, select an oval shape, draw the oval shape, maybe this much size. And you can see it is not a perfect uh, circle, so I've just make it a kind of oval and shape fill make it no fill and shape outline you can give a dotted line which is a dash and if you want to change the color you can just change the color to somewhat dark then i'm going to add uh, six or five options to it which is rotating go to insert shapes select again the oval shape and this time when you are drawing this uh, shape or you are making this shape hold the shift key so that you will get a perfect circle and you can see here is 1.69 width and 1.69 height so height of it you can just choose uh, of your own choice based on your requirement so shape outline i am making it no outline then i am going to give some 3d effect for this for to give the 3d effect right mouse click go to format shape and go to effects here you will see that 3d rotation and 3d format is there so first go to 3d rotation and under presets under parallel select this option which is off axis one top so you get this kind of uh, shape then go to 3d format and under depth increase the size you can see here you got the depth now how much big you want you can uh, depends again on your requirement and you can select the material and lighting lighting maybe i'll just select maybe this one and material i can go whatever for example this is very dark okay let me just go with this one i believe that is okay all right let me just increase the size a little bit and i'm going to insert one more small circle again the oval shape hold the shift key and shape outline make it no outline and effects again go there 3d rotation select the same off axis one top and change the shape fill to white and place it exactly in the center and then you can select both of these circles and press control g to group it and if you want you can give some shadow effects also you can increase the distance and increase the blur size also for this also it got again if you don't want any shadow effects you can simply make it no shadow then just place it here i'm going to copy control d this is second option this is third option 
and this is fourth option so i'm just making it four if you want to make it five you can just you have to just reduce the size something like this you got the five options again if you want the six options again you have to reduce it so let me just make it four options only and in the example in the tutorial i have made it six in my slide so i'm just making it four options only make sure that this is properly aligned all right and then you can insert some icons to insert the icons you go to insert icons if this option is not available in your powerpoint then you can use the nonproject.com or you can go to the net and search the icons basically i'm using office 365 so let me just uh, add something here four icons I have added here and I can just place the icon and if you want you can give some shadow effect also for example let me just give shadow effect like this I'm going to give the shadow effect all right now i'm going to use a morph transition which is available under transition here uh, so i'm just going to show you how the morph transition works then before making the morph transition uh, let me just change the colors so this let it be blue and this one i'll make it some maybe a uh, pink let me just change this color to say not yellow maybe orange and this one i'll make it maybe a purple color right and then i'm just going to group this object press ctrl g because these are two separate one so i'm just going to select the icon and the oval shape group it now i'm going to use a tra morph transition but before that select this slide right mouse click and just say duplicate slide so this is the duplicate slide now then go to transition and click on morph then i'm going to move this one here then this like this so let me just remove this I'm going to move this one here then this should come here then this should come here and this should go up and the text you can add the text here I will just say text 01 your first text you can give any text with the headline or whatever and I will change the font to Century Gothic. And I will give the same purple color. Right, if I play this now, when I click, this moves and the text comes here. Then I'm going to duplicate the slide again. Now, this text should go out. go out of the slide then this should move here this should come down this i'll make bring it here and this will go on top so I, we have just finished this one so i'm going to just paste the text here this is two i'll just say your second text and change the color to orange now if let me just play again this is the first text then this is the second text 
then again I will duplicate this this should go out let me just reduce the sorry zoom out so this let me just delete this I don't want the text now I'll bring move this text here and then this will go up this will come here this will come this side and this will go up now I'll just copy this text here and this will be third your third text and change the color to pink and again duplicate the slide see when I'm duplicating the transition already is morph so I don't need to do again and again so this is the fourth slide again I'm deleting this text and move this text out of the screen and then this should come down for that let me just move this here this will go here this will come here and this will go up and this is my fourth text and I will give the same color a blue all right now let's see if you want uh, you can add some uh, icon here also let's see how it looks in the slideshow now so you can see here the four uh, options when I click this will come down and the text will come here first text and when I click this text will go out and this uh, orange will come down you can see this is my second text this is the third text and this is the fourth text thank you for watching my youtube channel powerpoint university That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.